You know, we've we've gotten um, preppers call us by radius from us for a yeah. long time. Now um, you did. Uh, you hunted around to find the right the right company, right? So, Faraday Defense. They they've done the research. They have mm. put the effort in. They sell to the U.S. government. Um, they sell not just products like these. They sell. Um, you see the State Department sometimes using yeah. these tents where a government official will go in and um, their cell phone can't be sniffed or, yeah. you know, it can't be overheard. So they'll walk into these tents to have a conversation where they know there's no listening devices. Faraday Defense makes these products. Um, so if they're selling to the U.S. government, if this is their business, I feel confident that these products are going to do what they say they're going to do. So th- these products are made in in the USA, which is a rarity <laughs> these days anyway. But um, but they make these bags and closures, and and it, it really it it not only isolates and protects equipment from uh, from electromagnetic field radiation, but it uh, it also does um, offer some water protection. Yeah, I think so. It, the main idea is the EMF protection, mm-hmm. but um, I mean, they at the lowest end product that just provides the EMP EMF protection um, kind of looks like a bag. Like if you ever bought a hard drive or a yep. computer component, a static a static bag. Yeah, it protects against uh, static discharge. Now, supposedly yeah. there's a couple of layers here, so it's not the exact same thing that you would, um, you know, get a motherboard out of or something. But um, it does look like that, and it's like a Ziploc kind of. Well, is there, if there's any doubt about this company, I have a list of who they supply here. The, the digital forensics, military, law enforcement, defense contractors, private enterprises, medical Communications, aerospace, and technology industries. So that, I mean, that's a long list. So apparently these guys are reputable. That was important to me because we don't have a way to test if an EMF defense product works. You're not mm-hmm. going to know until it's too late. So you, you it seems to me like it's critical to go with a company that um, you can trust. Well, apparently they've tested these items. They have anti-static bags. They have some fabric uh, woven bags that are also protective. They have, uh, well, they have a backpack, and they're coming out with a duffel bag. Right. I, I like the backpack out. and the duffel bag. Let's, let's, cool. let's go through these real quick. Uh, they've got uh, the first thing. I guess we'll start small yeah, let's here. Let's start with the Nest Z yeah. series. The, the Nest Z series is the, your least expensive Faraday bag. Yeah. This bag provides protection for EMF coming through the bag and it provides protection for your electronic devices. Mm-hmm. So um, you put a to a radio in this bag, it cannot be harmed by electromagnetic interference coming from outside. Um, and these are, we sell them in various sizes and uh, they're Fairly inexpensive, starting at like five dollars, I think. Seven right? seven ninety nine, I think, for the five by seven. I think is where that starts. Seven Start, six, seven sixty nine for me. the five by seven, and um, and then it goes up. But they have, uh, yeah, they're different sizes, and you can get them fairly large as well. Now, what this is made of? It's a five layer, seven mil thick moisture barrier EMP bag. Has a Ziploc enclosure for uh, quick and easy storage. And access to your electronic devices. These layers are made up of the following here two heavy gauge static dissipating polyester layers, two aluminum barrier shield layers, and one additional polyester inner layer for added strength. Now, this is um, it's designed for shielding laptops, tablets, cell phones, key fobs, credit cards, uh, small hard drives you just mentioned, USB drives, and of course, radios. Two-way radios. Radios. And, um, yeah, well, you, you get them up to from 5 by 7. I think the, I think the one that you have is an 8 by 10 there, is it? Uh, and then they go up to like 16 by, by 20. Yeah, 16 by 20. And we sell these in kits as well, right? Don't yeah, there's have, a 15-piece 15 15 kit. Yeah, 15-piece kit that has an assorted 
uh, in assorted sizes with the same thing. And I think the the sixteen or the fifteen piece kit is sixty nine ninety nine, I believe. Now then, from there we've got this. What's that next item right there that we have on the on the desk? The next item is the NX three Faraday slash fabric forensic bag. This bag protects against signals going in or coming out. Mm -hmm. So if you put your cell phone in that bag, it cannot see a signal and it cannot transmit outside of the bag. Now this right here, what we're looking at here, this is actually the, the package that the bag is in. The bag itself, we can open this up, I think, because it just it's just a Ziploc. It's actually already open. But this, this is what the bag itself looks like. Ooh, nice, huh? Yeah, let me see. Yeah. Can everybody see it? <laughs> yeah, see, it's it's very flexible. I mean, you can tell there there's some kind of metal mm -hmm. um, material, at least uh, on the outside. Well, let me tell you what this is made of. The NX3 is a three-layer metal-plated fabric EMP bag with a double-roll Velcro closure. Triple layers of specialized metal-plated fabric containing nickel and copper shielding elements. So there's nickel and copper in there. It's all woven in. Dissipates signals from both exterior and interior sources, as you mentioned, and effects, uh, effectively blocks communication of signals to and from your device with an 85 to 90 decibel attenuation. Uh, this is the 8x10 bag that I have, I'm holding here, but it's available in an 8x10 and a 12x18 from our site right now, but we'll probably be adding more more sizes later on. They're available in larger sizes as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, look look for those. If you need something larger, give us a call, and we'd be happy to, to, um, to get that for you. They make a size of this that is wallet size. Um, and uh, the idea is it would prevent someone from reading your, your credit card. Yeah. Now, the uh, next item we have here is the Faraday Dry Bag Backpack. Oh, this is my favorite. Still black backpack. That's a really cool-looking bag, actually. It's, it's really nice. This, uh, and, and it's embedded in there, in the top there, it says... Built to block signal. Built to block signal. <laughs> yeah, that is a nice... I mean, it's very good feeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The top rolls down and then it locks, so that's to keep for, the for, signal out. And also, it uh, helps keep uh, the moisture out too. It, apparently, it's it waterproof. is. Uh, it, well, it's it's water resistant. I wouldn't say it's completely waterproof, but it's it's pretty water resistant. So that should offer a, a modicum of protection. Now, what this is, is made of? Is it not of, waterproof? It says dry bag. Is that? Well, not it says there? dry bag, but. I don't know. I think waterproof, we've had that discussion about what's considered waterproof before. Well, it's not submersible. <laughs> no, it's not submersible. <laughs> yeah. But um, what this is made of, it is a triple layer metal plated fabric EMP dry bag with a double roll and clip and cl a closure, like uh, Danny was just uh, saying. Resilient, puncture resistant. Uh, tarpaulin exterior that repels water. Now, this is interesting, this puncture-resistant thing. It, it, apparently, I mean, you could stab with a knife, I'm, I'm sure, if you really wanted to cut it bad enough. But for the most part, for certain punctures, it, it'll resist. It's somewhat puncture-proof. You would think that would be important, too, because if yeah. you throw electronics in this bag, and it, my idea is you get one of these and you just put all your electronic devices in there and, you know, yeah. maybe your, your bug-out situation, you know. Throw everything in there and uh, you throw it in a closet or something. Sure. But if a hole gets poked in it, you're you're no longer EMF proof, right? Well, definitely not waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I've got a list of what it blocks here. It blocks Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cell signals, including 5G networks, GPS, and RFID, which you were talking about before with the with the wallet. So mm -hmm. that's the, the RFID uh, protection. It has mesh side pockets, comfortable padded straps, and multiple quick release straps. And uh, it's it's a fairly large interior here. Yeah, there's a lot of room in that bag. I'm, yeah, I was surprised. Now this one goes for one thirty nine ninety nine for the bag. The NX three forensic bag, the fabric bag, um, starts at thirty two ninety nine. 
for starts off there. I think that's for the eight by ten size, I believe, and then goes up from there. Now we do have one more product that we don't have with us here today on the table list because it's uh, it's in a pre-order status. It's not available just yet, but it's supposed to be available very very soon. And that is the Faraday Dry Duffel Bag. I can't wait for the duffel bags to get here. That's the one I want. Yeah, the duffel bag is is pretty cool. And now, like the backpack, it's basically the same sort of thing as the backpack, but just it's a duffel bag, and it stores even more stuff. Yeah, it's larger, so, duffel bag style. I think it's the same. It's from the same class as this, and it's, I it's pre-order. So. We haven't seen one yet. Uh, but we're, uh, we're supposed to be getting them. Within two or three weeks, I believe. Well, we, I have the specs here. It says three layers of cyber NC, nickel copper. That's what the NC stands for, I guess. Uh, three layers of cyber NC, nickel copper fabric lining, water-resistant construction, comfortable guided straps, reinforced carrying handles, extra strap across the top for a secure closure, and effectively blocks communication of signals to and from your device with... Um, greater than 85 uh, dB attenuation from 400 megahertz to 40 gigahertz. The price on this bag is $247.99. But if it does the job, I would say it's probably well worth the price. If we have those uh, EMP events that you were talking about earlier, I would think so. Yeah, yeah. So, so we do have options here. We do, we do have solutions available for this type of thing. If you're really, really worried about what could happen to your electronics and your radios in particular, because let's face it, your radios, I mean, if the grid goes down, the cell towers go down, everything else goes down, that's all we got left are the radios, right? That's all we got left are the radios. So um, we want to protect those. So you want to have some protection handy, keep Keep them stored in something like this and break it out. Uh, you know, if there is an event, then you, you have them ready and, and they should be working, right? That's I, the, I that's the theory anyway. We hear from people <laughs> um, more frequently than I would think that are buying radios simply to put them on a shelf in case there's some kind of disaster yep. where they need communications and their cell phone doesn't work. Like Literally, they'll, they'll buy radios from us. And probably never even use them, just put them on a shelf. And if that's what you're doing, it makes sense to me to have them in a bag like this. I mean, that that little, that extra investment there is going to help protect your initial investment Mm -hmm. in the radios. And people were asking for these, these these devices. I didn't know that this equipment or these products existed um, uh, until people started asking us for them. Like, uh, they, they're saying, why don't you sell something like this? So we can buy it at the same time we buy radios. So, And not everybody can just is. run out and buy an ammo box. <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Does an ammo box definitely work? Like, can you, if you buy an ammo box? Theoretically, I don't know. To be honest, I don't have an ammo box. We um, should just sell ammo boxes then. You know, I mean, my dad had one. He kept his stuff in, and nothing ever happened uh, to, was he doing to that. It but but for storage, was, or was he doing it for a little both, EM, I think. EMP protection? Uh, it was a little both, I think. But okay. in any case, nothing ever happened then. But that's because nothing that ever happened then. So we don't really know if it would have worked or not. You I guess it was just for peace of EM, mind. You need to build an EMP cannon, and then we can <laughs> test this stuff. Then we would yeah, know. Yeah, EMP cannon. I'm. I'm uh, what would I do with an EMP cannon? We, we would test the Faraday defense products, of course. Uh, I'm not building one just for that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it could be a fun project, fun weekend project. Oh, sure. It might put and you then, in jail for that. You know, yeah. and if it accidentally goes off, then then our house and the whole neighborhood's out. and, and uh, Yeah, then they're coming for me. No, the, the house is <laughs> fine. The power is what yeah. the problem would be. Well, that's what I'm talking about, can power you, in the house. Can you legally own an EMP cannon? That's the next question. Uh, I'm not even going to pursue that. Uh, that, that Do it, Ray. That, I'm not on. even going to research that. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Build an EMP cannon. Talk about it on next Wednesday's episode. Oh, great. What do you think? You think I should build an EMP can? I wouldn't even know how to go about doing that. Someone out there knows. I'm sure someone does. Don't, please don't build an EMP (laughs) cannon. Don't, don't, okay? Just don't. 
Uh, we got enough trouble in the world. If you do build one, let us know, and we'll send a couple of these bags out, and you can tell us how well they work. Uh, if you do build one, I want to know about it. <laughs> All right, I guess that does it for our topic uh, t- today. I, <laughs> unless you have anything else on that, uh, I think uh, I think we're done. <laughs> I think we covered it. Yeah. I learned a lot. I mean, you were the one, you put these products on the website. You dug, uh, really dug in on the EMP information. I I, uh, I just found them. 